Hello everyone, this is Broby One Kenobi, also known as Kyle, and I am here playing some more Feed the Beast. And I'm staring at the ground for a reason because I'm going to do a dramatic reveal. Ready? Ready? Da 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 It's an unfinished house. I was gonna wait and show you guys this when I finished, but um far too lazy. So what I made this out of was these opal bricks, which are part of the Geostrata mod. Um so it looks really cool, like they change color different position you're in, so I thought it looked really cool, I mean, it's kind of rainbowy. Is there another, oh my god, I really hate these slimes. Go to this guy. Die. Why are there so many of these oh, slime balls? So anyway, um, got these uh, eucalyptus doors, which make cool doors with pink hearts on them. I uh, used eucalyptus planks to make the uh, bookshelves, so they're also pink. Did not intend for that. And uh, I also made a pink crafting table. These are ice pillars from the chisel mod, and I will show you guys that in a second. I also made an etho door. Uh, for anybody who's seen etho labs, I made the etho door. So if you step on it once, it'll stay open. If you step on it again, it'll close. I actually have to fix these two blocks. But, uh,. So, there you go. Etho door. Um, and that's where I needed those uh, frostbound blocks. It's for the door. Um, I wanted to use frostbound stairs, but for some reason they don't stick to... Uh, they don't stick to sticky pistons. I don't know why. Um, so I need two of these also. There's another little project we're going to work on in a second, but I just wanted to show you guys a couple things to um, I don't have any ice on me. But, yeah, you can't do it here. But, um, well, huh, that's interesting. So this chisel is part of the chisel mod, obviously. Um, and that on the search bar is also something we'll be getting into very soon. Unfortunately, there are a ton of chisels. Where's the actual chisel? There it is. So it's just made with an iron ingot and a stick, like, very, very simple. Um, and that makes sense, because... Oh, this is a chisel. But when you right click with it, it brings up this kind of crafting interface. So, okay, I can do it with cobblestone. So if you put a block in here, it'll pop up all these different options of things you can make it um, make it into with your chisel. So, like for example, well there's regular cobblestone. So let's say I wanted to make, I don't know, this creeper cobblestone tile. So I just pull it out and then it makes it see what this looks like. So it's actually pretty neat. It can be used for decoration. Um, this chisel mod adds a lot of new blocks you can use for decoration. And if you're not satisfied, ready? Just right click, put it back in, and then you can pull out regular cobblestone again. So it's pretty cool. Um, I think it's cool. It doesn't take any damage, which is really cool. So uh, yeah, that's the chisel mod in a nutshell. Uh, I'm going to go fix these. Sorry about this, running back and forth. Uh, I might have lost that one brick. I, no, I didn't. I got it. Alright, so pull out these frostbound blocks. There we go. So now that's the way I want it to be. Um, I have to make sure I keep torches away from these ice pillars too because they will melt. But anyway, the uh, first thing I'm going to do, actually, I need the crafting tables. So I'm back in. All these loud piston noises in your ears. So if you take uh, barley seeds, which is similar to wheat, it's found in the wild. Uh, it says it right there. Um, you get these, you get a barley seed bag. So that's cool. I wonder if it works the way it does. Let's see if I right click it. No, it doesn't. Well, let's see what happens if I... Oh, there we go. Oh, but it's a one-use thing? I don't want to waste that. Oh, I see. I guess you should craft a whole bunch of them, and then it's easier to plant them. Yeah, well, I was hoping this was it was something different than what it actually is. Actually, I wonder if... Hold on, let me check something. Uh, nope. There is no seed bag from... I don't remember what mod it even was from, but 
the receipt bags in a previous mod that I had used and they were really cool. Like they actually had in their own inventory and you could just right click to plant. Similar to what I just did. So we're going to be planting lots of this barley stuff because if you craft it down, um, and I'm out of, well, I'm already out of seeds. Alright, but if you craft it down, it, uh, you can cook it straight into bread. Like with one piece of barley, we'll make one loaf of bread. So it's going to be a better food source than trying to make pretty much anything else. Alright, so let me go through these away. I'm probably going to need to make more open stuff. I don't know if I'm going to make the real thing yet. I haven't decided. But what we are going to get into today a little bit is um, some applied energistics. And this is a system I've been meaning to get involved with for a while. But I played around with it on my test world and um, I should have enough materials to kind of get started. Alright, so we're to make the ME controller, which is basically the primary thing you will need in order to get started with applied energistics. The ME controller is up for iron for these Fluix crystals and one ME advanced processor. So these Fluix crystals are made with Certus quartz and nether quartz with redstone. And I made a nether portal, went to the nether. Um, I had an issue with one of the mods, and here, I'm going to get sidetracked here, but the one mod, I forget what it's called, I think it's part of Power Crystals, it basically, it spawns nether ores, um, they look very similar to overworld ores, but they're encased in nether rack, um, I actually have one of them, let me go grab an example, so you guys understand what I'm talking about, um, for those of you who played Feed the Beast, you probably are well aware of this, but for those of you who haven't, or haven't seen it, it like for example this. This is another redstone. So it looks like regular redstone, but it's encased in another rack. Now that's all fine and good, but in the nether, by default, the, the way the configs are set up, red, uh, nether ores will first of all if you mine them, it will cause nearby zombie pigmen to auto aggro to you and be angry at you. So they come after you and they attack you in you know hordes obviously because it's the nether. Um, the other thing is they, there's a chance that they can cause an explosion when you mine them. Now, that's all fine and good, and I understand they're trying to make the nether a little more difficult, but um, the explosion, I looked in the configs, um, the explosion was actually like a bigger blast than TNT, the way the configs had it set up. So, like to me that's just ridiculous. It makes me not want to ever mine anything in the nether, because I'll either anger or pigmen and actually that's what happened, is I went out and I tried to mine just standard old, you know, Minecraft nether quartz, and that was causing the pigmen to get aggressive, and I actually died in the nether, and I kind of cheated and went into creative mode and went back to get my stuff back, because I thought that was really stupid that, you know, it made the uh, zombie pigmen auto aggro to you. So I went in the configs and I turned that off. Um, now, I also turned off the explosions, because I don't, I, I think it's stupid, I don't want to die to you know, explosions for no reason, so, anyway, that's that, uh, I probably won't be mining very much of this nether ore, because the reason is, and I think, let's see if I hit you, can I see what it is used for, yes, see, if you smelt it, it turns into two of the regular ones, conversely, if you put it through a macerator, you get 24 redstone, like, that's just absurd. If you put it through a pulverizer, you get 24 redstone as well. So that's why they're kind of overpowered, and I can understand that. So I'm not going to be mining much, if at all, of the nether ores. I'm only going to go to the nether for nether quartz, um, for those strongholds, and for, like, glowstone and things like that. So I'm not really going to be going there to get ores, um, because I understand that's kind of overpowered. Anyway, so that was my little rant. Um, let's see, so anyway, let's get back to this. So to make the, let's start with the ME Advanced Processor. So we need an, well, oh, we can make it on an assembly table too. That's actually easier probably, but I need, I don't have an assembly table, so. Um, if you smelt it in a redstone furnace, a uh, processor assembly, you get the processor. So the processor assembly is a diamond, two redstone, silicon, and a quartz cutting knife, so we're gonna have to make a quartz cutting knife. So that's two sticks, iron, and two quartz. So, oh, look at that, we have two sticks, one iron, 
Uh, which quartz do I have more of? I guess this one. So I get me a quartz cutting knife. Okay. So then we need diamond, two redstone, and silicon. Now I made up some of the silicone already. But you just get it by smelting nether quartz dust or certus quartz dust uh, in a furnace or redstone furnace. Um, so let's go ahead and make one of these. So I got the diamonds, redstone. I think this quartz cutting knife is reusable, but I'm not positive. So advanced processor assembly. Yes, it is. It does take damage, but all right, perfect. Let's go to bed. Go to sleep because it's nighttime. All right, so we've got the processor assembly. Let's go take that to the furnace. And get that cooked into a processor. So that's pretty cool. So that's my any advanced processor. It's much easier to get out of here. Um, so it's much easier than. Um, the way I thought we were going to get them was to use the assembly table. The assembly tables are kind of a pain. I need a lot more diamonds than I have. But, um, <clears throat> anywho, so these fluix crystals are made from certus quartz, nether quartz, and redstone. So let's go ahead and, I don't know, it looks like we might need a few of these. So, I don't know, let's make like eight. Eight sounds good. So for now, I mean, we only need four. So we pretty much have everything we need now. So iron on all four corners, fluix crystals, and ME advanced processor. It's me an ME controller. Sweet. This does need um, MJs, which I don't. We do not have MJs currently. Whoa. Um. I think it can use IC2 power as well. So, well, for now, um, yeah, let's put this. Hmm. I don't know where I want to put. Well, obviously, I want to put it in my house. Um, all right, what's, which wrench do I need to make? Uh, let's pick up that. Let's see. Does the wrench I have work? French do I need for that? I know they're different. Um, that's a quartz wrench. Uh, build craft, thermal expansion. That's the one I need. An industrial craft wrench. That's made with six bronze. Uh, okay. Do I have any bronze left? I don't think I do. But we can make some. So bronze is made from this and we're gonna need two sets of these because we need it. six. So six and that's a wrench and my inventory is full. Well let's throw it on the ground real quick. Get rid of that. Um let's get rid of these slime balls. Um I guess that's all we can get rid of. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick up this generator. You always want to use a wrench when you pick up IC2 machines, otherwise... Oh, and that one... No, it's, it's okay. I just... My inventory is full. Er, I need to make some of those uh, like a backpack or something. So let's come over here and pick that up. So that that drop for compressor? Yes, it did. Alright, so we have more copper cables. Because we will need them. Alright, so copper cables. Let's get rid of these red steel orders as well. Alright, let's move this stuff in the building. I'm probably gonna do it again eventually, but it's fine the way it is. Alright, so let's pull out the generator. So, for now, we'll just plop it down like that. And we'll com connect them both with copper cables. Let's throw, I don't know, one piece of cold coke. So, this is getting power. Now, IC2 power isn't as efficient in uh, applied energistics as uh, MJs are, so eventually I'm going to secure a source of MJs, but for now, uh, this will do. So this uh, really doesn't do anything at the moment, but um, 
There you go, you can see how much EU. So it uses three EU per tick. So it's going to be constantly drawing power, which kind of sucks too. But the next thing you'll want to make, and I don't know if I actually have the materials for this, I didn't really look this far ahead, but I'm going to make an ME chest. So that's iron, glass, and a chest. That's pretty simple. And then this conversion matrix, which is made from quartz, quartz, flux, dust, and iron around an ME basic processor, which is made the same way as the advanced, but with gold. So we could probably do this. Let's try it. Um, put away most of those materials. Alright, how do you make a backpack? Let's just check that out. Because I'm going to want one of these. I don't know, let's just pick one. So it's just leather around dye. That's pretty easy. I don't think I have leather that that could be a problem. So don't have any rotten flesh. Need more organized chest system. This is kind of uh, ridiculous. Uh, yeah, it would appear I do not have any leather at all. I really used every last one. Oh yeah, I did. All right. Well, here's what we can do. We only need eight. Right? You know what, I'll be back when I have eight leather, um, so we don't waste any more camera time doing this. I am back. I made a light blue backpack, and I put some of my extra tools and armor and things that I might need in that, so it frees up a little bit of space. Alright, so let's go ahead and make that, um, ME chest. Oops. Chest. Um, so we need the basic processor, which... Yes, we need the gold knife, the silicone, and what was it, two redstone? Yeah. Let's go ahead and grab that thing, and then we'll go cook it. I don't know why they had it where you have to cook, oh, that's not the right thing. Where you have to cook it. But, you know, whatever. Just following their rules. That's my nether portal, by the way. Fluix dust and quartz crystals. Do we have? We don't have fluix dust. How do you get fluix dust? Is that the only way you can get it? I really have to go get. Oh, I do have quartz dust. Never mind. We're okay. So we have both quartz dusts, and one of these gets you two. So that's nice. So I think we just need those two. One of these. Four iron. Yes, conversion matrix. Alright, so now we need a chest, which we can just make one. Chest, conversion matrix, what else? Uh, iron on the bottom, and glass up top. ME chest, perfect. So if you put this right next to the controller, it will receive power. Now I don't have any power right now because it drained it all already. So you don't want to set this up if you don't have a sustainable source of power. That's the uh, moral of the story here. Because I do not, but that's fine. Um, this isn't a permanent solution anyway. I just kind of, while well, I had this in mind, I wanted to kind of show you guys what it was. Um, the last thing you will need for that is a cold storage. Uh, you need one of these ME storages. Now, I was going to make this one, but it requires a lot of diamonds, and I don't really have many yet. So we'll make a 16K, which is the second biggest you can get. So it's made from redstone, iron, glass, and a storage block. A storage block is made from an ME advanced processor, which we already made. Glowstone, which I do not have, so we might not be able to make this either. And three of these storage segments. Storage segments are made from... Uh, all that stuff. <laughs> so we need to start with storage cells. We need, I think, three of those times three, so we need nine. So 
So we need a lot of these ME basic processors. We need, I think, nine. Let me uh, double check this. So we need, so we need three of those, three of these. So we need three right there. Each of those three needs three. So, yeah, nine. Well, it help if we crash with them first. We will need to make more silicon. So let's go over here and, um, well, let's just throw it into the pulverizer and throw a piece of coal in each of these. These steam dynamos seem to burn through coal coke, so I just use regular coal. Now, will these, these don't smelt? I think that's how I got silicon. Oh, I know why. I turned it off. Uh, that's why. Yes, so these do indeed make uh, silicone. So what did I say? Do we need nine? We need at least ten, I think. We'll just wait till it's finished. It's not going to be much longer. One more. Come on. Hurry up. I can't wait till I get a, uh, like, auto crafting system going. And that's the nice thing that M uh, Applied Dynamics will do is to have a completely automated crafting system as well as a huge storage system, and it's, it's really nice. I've never used it myself until just now, but um, it's, it's really good. So let's throw that in the middle. These on the outsides, these here. Now, what did I say? We need nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's not make any more. Um, we also need a diamond one. I know we need at least one. We'll just make one for now. We can always make more. Alright, now let's go throw these into uh, a redstone thing that produces stuff. <laughs> That's descriptive. You guys know what I'm talking about. So, excuse me. Okay, at least these stack. It's going to be worried. Now, I had to kill pretty much all the animals to get that leather for the backpack. That's fine. I can always read more. Why are these damn slimes everywhere? Back here. Denzins. Now I'm starting to talk like Nether Void. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of his videos. He's very good at uh, explaining how to do things in modded Minecraft, like Feed the Beast and such. Alright, so these are done. Let's take these over and hopefully we have the remaining materials to make. Oh, oh I dropped my quartz cutting knife. That's not good. Alright, so Emmy, of course, no, wait, storage, yeah, that's right. So, to make the 16k storage, we need to make, how many of these? Three? I think we just need three of these. Hold on. So, I need three of these, and each of those needs three of these. So, it's nine. Uh, I actually need a lot more of these, I think, than I thought. Hmm. Alright, well, let's start by making three. So we need four quartz crystals and. Well, I said three, right? Let's put three in there. These and. What was it? Redstone, I think? Yes. So let's grab. I don't know why I didn't grab the third one. Alright, whoops, I don't want the 64k, I want the 16k for now. Alright, so now I have three storage cells, right? Right, so each of these storage cells makes a storage segment. So let's make that. And what was it, glass, I think? 
That only gives us one of those. Um, and we need how many of these storage segments? We need three. Okay. Um, so we did not make enough of these. Now let's just make all of these into um, basic processors because eventually we will need them. All right, let me go grab some redstone. I seem to be pretty much out of it. Um, we don't have a whole lot of it, so that's a bit of an issue too. I've been having trouble finding the really basic and necessary resources for feed the bees here. All right, so we've got f uh, four more basic processors. Boy, I'm just all over the place. This is going to be a longer episode, by the way, if you couldn't tell. That's fine, because I fully expect these to be kind of long. So it's, it's all good. Um, I mean, we throw in here four. I don't, I don't think this is going to be enough, but yeah, we'll just try it. We'll see. All right. Let's see. Where did we leave off? Whoops. That's not what I wanted. All right. So we need one of these, which is made from three storage segments. We have one storage segment. Each storage segment needs three of these. OK. So we need to make six more of these. So we need six. of these each. Okay, fill the four corners with redstone. And we need the basic processor. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we move these up, put two of each, and I think it was glass, right? Storage segments. So we get three of those. Is that all we need? Three storage segments? Yes it is, that's fantastic. Alright, so three storage segments, glass and glowstone. I don't have glowstone. So we only made one extra, that's good. Um, is there any way to get glowstone other than to go into the nether? It would appear not. Alright, well guys, I'm going to go find some glowstone and I will be back. Alright guys, I'm back. I got a little bit of glowstone. And so we should be good to go for making this ME chest. No, storage. One storage. Storage. Alright, so 16k. Let's make a storage block. We need it. Four glowstone, I mean advanced processor glass, and these storage segments. So I believe we have all of those. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, glass, uh, this thing, and glowstone. Gets me a storage block. Actually, we only need three storage blocks. Yeah, I can worry about it right now. Um, storage block, redstone, iron, and glass. So is it redstone? I actually think it's redstone. Glass, storage block, and iron. Perfect. 16k storage. So it has 16,000 bytes, and it will hold up to 63 types. So now if we throw this... Where did it go? In here. Now this isn't getting any power right now, so let's go ahead and throw... I don't know, let's just throw a piece of coal coke. So now you see this is getting power, so now what we can do, let me go get like a lot of a material just to show you guys. We'll go grab a couple stacks of cobble. Actually, no, let's grab all of our dirt. We have a lot of dirt. Let's just grab all the dirt we have. Now, when this thing runs out of power, you can't access it, so that kind of sucks about it. But if we come over here, let's say we throw in all of the dirt we have. 
So you see, it only holds one stack of 351, which is really nice because you can store as many items as there's space for in here, basically. Um, and this will hold like somewhere in the millions, I think, of each item. So now you see here, we've used 172 of 16,000 bytes, one of 63 types. So, you know, when this gets full, you know, obviously we're out of room and storage. So if you throw in, like, let's say, throw in redstone, now we're using 305 bytes. Um, and the nice thing about this is you can take it up off and it stays stored on there. So you'll never run out, which is really cool. Um, so for now, we'll just, you know, we'll just leave that the way it is. Well, so you can see it will only pull out one stack at a time. So we'll leave the rest of the dirt in there. Uh, it's fine if it runs out of power. Like I said, eventually we're going to set up, uh, I think, a pumping station in the nether. We're going to do that again, uh, at least to start off, until I can make something better, but um, in pump off of geothermal power. Um, and that should supply this guy with plenty of space. So, as you see here now, uh, it says power is low, and you can see it recognizes the ME chest. Now, there's one other thing with ME. I think it was terminal. Access terminal, I think is what it is, but let's just type terminal. Yes, access terminal. So this is gonna require ME cable, glass, and iron, and another one of these conversion matrices. So we could possibly make that right now. Uh, how do we get that conversion matrix again? We need to make that Fluix dust first. Where is my Certus Quartz dust? Did it go in my backpack? Oh, it's right there. Der. Derp. Does this have to be in any specific order? No, not really. Uh, let's make two sets of this, just in case. I need to run out of this stuff. Alright, so we've got four. Uh, how much do we need for the conversion matrix? Just one. Alright, so we need that. Or one, uh, two. Those two, we need one of these. I think it's redstone in the corners. And one of... No, not these. These. No, what's in the corners? Iron. Not even close. Iron. Fantastic, we got another conversion matrix and the ME cable. Well, it's a good thing we made more of that. We actually need to make one more set. Um, no, that's the wrong thing. Luckily, this will do it for us for now. So I don't have any more of the other quartz dust, but that's fine. So three of those gets your ME cable. We do get three of those, which is nice. So one a bunch of iron, plus a bunch of glass, which we have just enough glass, which is really nice. And the conversion matrix, ME access terminal, perfect. So again, we are out of power, but we'll throw that down. And we'll throw burn another piece of cold coke, I guess. Now, if we access this, this will give us access to everything that's in our system, and it makes it a lot easier. Like, if you had a ton of stuff in here, obviously with one item it's not a big deal, but you just search in, like, let's say we threw in, like, netherrack, uh, we'll, we'll keep the dirt, gold, and planks. So, like, if you wanted to you wanted to find uh, netherrack, you just type in nether and it would come up. So, pretty cool. Um, you definitely don't need this, but uh, I thought it was cool. So, um, and obviously that's going to run out of power, like I said. So, it is a shame, but uh, that's cool. Those are the uh, first three pieces of ME that I've ever made. And um, these have to be touching the controller. Now, the only way they don't have to be touching the controller is if you have this ME cable, and you know you can hook it up and it would you know, connect to wherever. But, uh, you know, right now we're just going to leave it the way it is for now. And, um, yeah.